All right, we played Legend of Wario for a little bit. Let's let, let a real hero take the stage. I'm playing a really dangerous game here. Getting his metal. Oh, this is perfect. Stamina battle, periodic earthquakes. Yeah. So I am playing a very dangerous game by using hero for one reason and one reason only. He has Kamikaze, which I'm going to count. If I accidentally blow myself up, that counts as losing the character because he was KO'd. So I need to make sure I'm not stupid. I want... I want the move. Come on, where is it? Where's Metal Slash? I can literally... I can literally... I know I could do this a hell of a lot easier. But this is just more fun. Where the heck is it? Oh, there was Kamikaze. Okay. Might be a little bit. doing? What am I doing with my time? I could have had this match over a long time ago if I had just played this normally. Am I seriously not going to get um, Metal Slash just because it's a Metal Spirit and that would be cheating? This is a little baloney. Okay, fine. I'll play it the way you want me to play it. Shifting through, like, I don't think, I, I, I don't think Metal Slash is that uncommon. And I know that because every single time one of my friends gets clang, Metal Slash is always there. A load of bullshit. Alright, well, now we're going to play as the dumbest character in this entire game, and we'll play as him for real. Hero is stupid. Enemies melee weapons have increased power, the enemies magic attacks have increased power. You are giant. Why am I giant? I thought you were supposed to be nerfing me. I mean, sure. Like, honestly, I thought you guys were supposed to be making this spirit battle harder for me. What on earth was I supposed to lose by being stronger? I am confused, but I won't complain. Ascend the path of wisdom to face challenges. Thank you. I guess that just means go up. Mega Mewtwo Y. Let me guess. Yeah, what a shocker. He will suddenly have a final smash. However... There's not much I can do about it. All I have to do is just KO this guy fast. And hope I'm gonna dodge. Ow. Okay, well that did like six damage. That final smash did six damage. I'm okay with this. Aw, oh, just a little bit shy. Later, dude. Never get, never get near a side special from Hero. That Kerzap, that Zap spell is just deadly. I wonder if this is gonna be Hero's only episode. Wouldn't surprise me, but I'm gonna be honest. Hero's just stupid fun. So, like, if I lose him, it's not that big of a deal. I don't, that's not saying I want to lose him, but, like, if I do, I won't be that affected. I really don't see any other option. I'm not gonna have an- I'm not gonna have an advantage. Let's try it. I don't like Legendary Legendary.
I didn't need to do that. Ooh, yeah, let's go. Oh, that was not what I intended to happen, but... Uh, my motion's into bomb again. Oh no, she caught my banana! Incoming explosion! But it's not something that hurts me. So we'll just take care of corn and we'll be on our way. That wasn't so bad. Okay, I'm really confused because I know a lot of legendary rank spirits gave me a lot of problems in the past. So I'm wondering how the hell I'm doing so well right now. And I probably shouldn't be questioning it, I should just be accepting it for what it is. And that's an Akira. God damn it, another legend? How many of these things do I have to fight just to get to Bowser Jr.? With the other path of... Was the other path a better option? I'm gonna say no. Probably about the same. Enemies' smash attacks have increased power. The enemy's physical attacks have increased power. Stamina battle. God damn it, it's another Ryu. What on earth? Oh yeah, what kind of happen? I'm not getting all the conditions here, am I? That was a critical hit, wasn't it? That's that's right, we'll take care of that. There we go. Nice and easy before you get to use that final smash. God damn it. Ryu is pissing me off. I know I got my revenge two episodes ago, but that doesn't mean it doesn't still hurt. What do you have to say? Please give me a time. 440, perfect. That's what we need. We'll be back for Bowser Jr. I'm 100% positive that is Bowser Jr. That's not correct. Right. So, 440. One, two, three, four, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, forty. Blammo! Now, here's something special about the me brawler, cause uh, that's me. That is legit, like, my me is a me brawler. Uh, should have a default move set, so I don't think it should have or well, might have counter. Okay. Damn it, I wasted like a half my MP for that. You are fast, my friend. Oops. Here, just take a little bit more damage. There we go, perfect. All right, so, like, I might use my Me Brawler here and there, but I need to be careful because I have two of them that I use frequently and I sometimes get their moves mixed up. My Me Brawler has the helicopter kick as a recovery, which isn't bad. It's good for uh, vertical distance, horizontal distance. While my Stephanie Me Brawler has the Axe Kick, the one we I just kind of slayed the Me Brawler for using. And that's the uh, vertical one. Bowser Jr. I do like Bowser Jr., but mainly because I like the Koopa Lights. Okay, side scrolling stage. We need to be careful here because I do not want to get left behind. And yeah, I know what will happen. Oh, wait, it's the uh, Final Destination version. We're good. Oh my goodness, his clown car even has uh, the um, purple eyes. Oh, smart boy. Oh, you let your baby take that? What a monster, how dare you. 
How dare you sacrifice your little Mech Koopa for that? Awful to get back into Minecraft. Oh, right, I could also play a Steam. Good. I, I think what we basically just did was take the shorter route. T-Rex? We're facing a big dinosaur. And it's a Yoshi. What a surprise. It's Yosh. <laughs> what do we use to represent dinosaur spirits? Maybe the only dinosaur. Also, yeah, Charizard doesn't count. Charizard's not a dragon. He's a lizard. Lizards are just... Uh, modern dinosaurs, I guess. But Yoshi's an actual dinosaur. Come on, buddy, get down here. Oh, bitch. I took 1.8% of damage from that. Good boy, Yosh. Well, I mean, I guess... Like, I, I, I had to beat the Yosh. This is for treasure. The Dark Emperor? I don't know if treasure's worth it. The forest treasure is the path to the branded swordsman. That's the one that stumped me. It's like, you had to jump into the treasure chest, and the and when they say branded swordsman, they really did mean Krong. I have to face, like, three spirits just to get a cannon? Goddamn. Fortitude? It's this unholy abomination. I can't even tell if that's a fist or a foot or a face. What is this thing? The enemy is explosive and fire attacks of increased power. Okay. Oh, no, wait, don't. Oh, yeah, no, the wheezing was uh, increased power and uh, fire and explosive. Maybe I could get something that resists. Hey, you know what beats flying? Oh, well, if he was caught up in the thick of that, that would have been a lot better. Like this. Probably could have. I probably could have O code him if he was actually in there from the start. Unfortunately, the Charizard does not actually have a weakness to electricity in Smash. They used to. Well, okay, not even back then. Lina? Lina? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, back in Brawl, when uh, Pokemon Trainer was in there, um, the Pokemon had natural weaknesses to the, the, the core types, like Charizard was weak to water, Squirtle was weak to grass, and Ivysaur was weak to... Uh, fire, but, like, it was interesting, but as far as I'm concerned, Squirtle was really the only one who benefited from it, because there, like, Ivysaur was literally the only thing in Brawl that had grass-based attacks, and meanwhile, Ivysaur was nerfed hard by it, because, well, Mario exists, Bowser exists, Captain Falcon exists. More characters use fire than any other element. Like, even water was only used by Mario, and it wasn't even a damaging attack. It was just, hey, you're getting pushed around a little bit. We should be good with this. I was not checking anything else, and I'm hoping that strong wins. Yep, the enemy starts the battle with a poor club. God damn, that's not good. It's only because the Ore Club grants some super armor. Now, now he does not have it. The Ore Club's also not weak. Like, holy jeez. Like, the Ore Club is such a good item. I can understand why it takes three uh, support slots just to have a spirit that equips you with it. Like, the Ore Club is nothing to shrug off. Ganon, no. Oh, Ganon, no. The fighter battles, so we shouldn't have to worry about any quirks, but it is a Ganondorf. Oh, but wait, we're we have to check the rest. <laughs> oh, Hero is so dirty. I'm facing the wrong way, like an idiot. Come here, Ganon! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was the... Oh, nothing quite like Magic Burst to just annihilate somebody. High MP, 
click that, assuming the opponent doesn't just jip you out of it. Trust me, it happens to my friends and I way more than we would like. Just shoot someone from a distance while you're using magic first and they just lose all their MP and they don't even get an attack. There we go. The Mirage vanishes, the Demon King's castle appears. And it's not even it, because we also have to face Calamity Ganon just to get at Ganon. Where are you going? Isn't this Garu- isn't this like the Gerudo village? Aren't I not allowed in there because I'm a man? I'm- I, I'm pretty sure I did my uh, Breath of the Wild. Why are the eyes like that? Anyway, yeah, I did my Breath of the Wild research, and I'm pretty damn sure that, um... You're not allowed in there if you're just regular Link, if you disguise as a, as a woman. You'll lose if your CPU ally is KO'd. You'll occasionally take sudden damage after just a little while in the giant. Okay, so, here's another one. Ally CPU losing does not count for me. Yeah, let's just try it. So, I'm assuming that my partner is Zelda. If she dies, that's not going to count to my death. I have to be the one who dies. Again, my rule set is I die. Not I run out of time, not I, not anything else. Not my partner's dying. Why did I do that? Holy shit! Oh, sure. There we go. Whack. <laughs> I was like, wait, now there's Metal Slash. But then I saw Whack. I'm like, go for it. Kill him immediately. I just wanted to get the cheapest KO possible because I'm telling you right now with my friend group, landing Whack or Thwack never gets old. And I mean never. All right. On all fronts, I could probably do this, but I'm going to call it an episode right here, and we will take on Ganondorf in the next episode. So, I will see you guys then.